Hi, and welcome back to The Soup. I'm your host, Brian Karam, on a trip, another wonderful, magical mystery tour through the innards of D.C. politics. Longtime White House correspondent Brian Karam here. And today we're going to talk about history. That's right. History was made today. Whether you choose to believe it or not, let's go over some simple facts. Remember the day that, no, many of you won't, including me, I wasn't around, but the day that Buddy Holly died is often called the day the music died. Today will live in infamy as the day that Donald Trumpism died. After losing the White House and being driven out of the White House by votes that he will still not admit came against him in an election that he still will not admit that he lost, Donald Trump was left controlling one part of our government, the Republican-controlled House of Representatives, and led by his acolyte, Kevin McCarthy, who took 15 ballots to become the Speaker of the House. Small minority of MAGA Republicans had controlled the Republican House for the last nine months, and they did absolutely nothing with it. That was their goal. Their goal was to drive it into the rubble, destroy it, and then pounce over the remains and rule over the, the poor rubble that was left. Didn't work. So after they drove McCarthy, Matt Gates was the one who drove McCarthy from office, we were talking about Steve Scalise and then Jim Jordan. Jim Jordan, an election denier himself, one who has ignored subpoenas and one that is suspected of many nefarious activities. He was put up as the next Speaker of the House of Representatives, and after failing twice to get the votes needed to become the Speaker of the House, he has withdrawn leaving Patrick Henry, an aging 47-year-old man who looks like he's about 90, in charge of the House of Representatives as a pro tem speaker until they figure out what else they can do. All of this comes after, of all people, Nancy Pelosi warned them that it wasn't going to work. Here's what she had to say to me just two days ago. Ms. Pelosi, what do you think is going to happen? Are you going to get a vote today? You think you'll get one? Yeah, I'll be the last person to know. But I think they're taking lessons in mathematics and learning how to count. <laughs> and you know who else was upset? Well, it was all of the Senate. John Fetterman described the House of Representatives as a bunch of entertainers who don't know how to do their job. And this is what he urged them to do just yesterday. You know, entertainment is not governance, and that's what they believe over there. And, you know, it's time to just do their job. And whoever it's going to be, they need to get it together so we can deliver the kind of aid that, that we need in Ukraine, whether in Israel, or, or even on the border as well, too. You know, do their job, and let's just get it done. At the end of the day, this is the last gasp of Trumpism. Donald Trump no longer concerns us in a variety of reasons, for a variety of reasons. Number one of which, if you're watching the trial in New York, Donald Trump may soon be broke, literally. And a year from now, he may be in prison. But he no longer controls the White House, and he no longer has control of the House of Representatives. And by God, that's the best news we've all had in a long time. As a matter of fact, Halloween's coming up. Thanksgiving and the Christmas season puts me in the mood to celebrate them all. Have fun. Catch you next time. I'm Brian Karam. You can read the book it's called free the press and it's second printing you can also see uh the podcast called just ask the question and every day or every week in salon.com with a column catch you next time hey midas mighty love this report continue the conversation by following us on instagram at midas touch to keep up with the most important news of the day what are you waiting for follow us now